What's up now? So we got TTE Naughty. Now, people, <clears throat> if it was first, I'm gonna start off saying if it wasn't for TTE Naughty, keep it a G now. People wouldn't even know who Pop Austin was. All right? You know the podcast. That's just my belief. Because I didn't know who the hell they was until TTE Naughty. I knew who TTE Naughty was before he even got on Pop Austin. But this is the thing. A lot of people didn't know who the hell Pop Austin podcast was until TTE Naughty was on there. You see what I'm saying? Because a lot of people knew about TTE Naughty, at least, before that. So, this is a prime example of when Young Dolph used to say, trust nobody. All right? I think some of y'all need to go back and revisit Dolph Music, Old Ed New, and go back and check out the man interviews when he was on, like, Breakfast Club and stuff like that. Any type of interview, man. And, li and really comprehend. Fuck listening and hearing what he's saying. Comprehend what he's saying. Digest that shit. Make a turd off that shit. You know, make some money off that shit. This is what I'm saying, though, people. Now, what I'm about to say happened, like, two weeks ago. I'm late on that. So we all, I have to run this down like this. So we all should remember, if you know about TTE 90, when Onan TV and uh, TTE 90's sister and also Terrence Gangster Williams was on his ass, right? His sister said, allegedly, TTE 90 was digging up, got paperwork on it, allegedly, digging up a grave. I don't know. I still don't know if I believe that shit or not. But that's neither here nor there. So, we know about that. She ran down. You know, he, him and his wife got that package. And all that stuff went grimy to the grain, right? So, we get past that. That came and went. Right? Now, it's to the point where the KP guy and OTM Zay, they used to be a part of, you know, TT Naughty Little Click on... Pop Austin, right? And now they have turned their back on. <laughs> Trust nobody, people. Now, TT Naughty, I believe, brought them in the game. I'm not sure about Zay, but I know for sure KP, right? I think he might have brought both of them in the game. Now they have started their own little YouTube channel and shit. <sighs> Terrence Gangster Williams, make it worse. Terrence Gangster Williams has interviewed KP. And KP put the rundown on why and basically why and why him and TT Naughty fell out. So now KP says that package test is fake because, you know, he went to the doctor and got a test for everybody because they said, because the sister said what? He had the package. But at first they was taken up for the man. Hold on. They were still smoking blunts after him and everything. So where did that energy go? Because let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Now KP says, hey, they went to the doctor. Yeah, they went to the doctor. But that paperwork, they rearranged the paperwork some type of way. And he say, uh-uh, that package test fake, y'all. That shit fake. <laughs> so I guess he's insinuating that what? Allegedly, TC90 got the package. I don't know if I believe that. But this is my thing about this video. This is a prime example of trust nobody. Hey, it happens there. It happens to the best of us. It happens to everybody. When they feel like, when somebody, when you, look, when you put somebody on, why do you think they around you? One, to soak up that game you got. Because they want to see and know how you are doing whatever you're doing. Right? That's one. For two, they going to take your spot. <laughs> Eventually, they going to take your spot. Come on, man. Huh? If you think that's a lie, what I just said, you are in denial. All right? Trust nobody. Now, turns around, the reason why I got a whiff for that is because... Captain Keith. Now, Captain Keith been knowing him for like three years, he said. Captain Keith called Crab Stoppers on TTE 90 yesterday, people. I think it was yesterday. Because there is a viral video. I'm assuming it's viral. Some lady is taping TTE 90 at a damn park. 
where some teenagers at. I don't know how the fight started, da da this and that, but he ends up, or if he came and protecting somebody he knew or something that was fighting, but he ended up pulling out. T.T. United pulled out a damn AR-15, look like, with a damn banana clip. Mm -mm. Now, they said shots was fired. I didn't hear any shots. I must have missed that. But they said shots was fired. So I feel Captain Keith when he says, now remind you, Captain Keith been knowing him for three years. I'm going to put that out there. Now, he didn't call Crown Stoppers and told him, yeah, I know the man's name. He got an AR-15 or a 14, and he, he got a banana clip, and he's shooting at little kids at the damn park. Now, Keith has a part, point when he says, you know, you can't be shooting at little kids. This shit got to stop. I get it. But I would bust a little Pookie and Ray Ray in their ass, too, if it's, if it's to save my own damn life. Like I said, I don't know the whole story. I just seen what was on that video. I don't know how it started, who started, what happened, or how it ended. But that's my thing, though. But I feel what he's saying. I totally agree with him, with Captain Keith. You see what I'm saying? But you've been knowing him for three years. You didn't know he was a wild boy like that? Whatever. That's neither here or there. I'll tell you what it is here. I'll tell you what it is now, though. Put it like that. He called Crowd Stoppers, people. <laughs> called Crowd Stoppers on the man. Damn. You hear me? <sighs> he said he needs to be off the street. That's it. God. Dog. TT Naughty, this shit done backfired on your ass, baby. I'm, I was rooting for you, too. Especially when, when your sister came out and saying all that crazy shit. Because I just couldn't understand why would you out your brother like that. Like, that's some personal ass shit. But it, it, hey, it's already out now. And But for KP, and for, for at least KP to say, that test is fake, that, that, this, and that. But you was just riding this man dick the whole time. You, you know what I'm saying? On Pop Austin, man. Now you talking about, man, forget him. I don't mess with him no more type shit. Man, trust nobody, people. And like, and like I always say, because KP said, yeah, I still mess with Pop Austin. But, you know, the podcast, but I'll come back or whatever when you get rid of that cancer. Talking about TTE Naughty, when TTE Naughty is the one that probably introduced you to these people and shit like that there. Damn, because he was talking about some type of contract or something. Music contract. I didn't know TTE Naughty was a damn producing shit. So, I was taking it as he signed, KP signed something that he didn't even read because he said he still want to see the contract. That's insinuating that you never read the damn contract. You never, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and you just signed and shit. And then he's like, well, he didn't know that I looked at the bottom of it. So, that's all you, you read. You didn't read no fine print. The fine print, that's all you read. It seemed like it's the fine print because the fine print said, allegedly, that uh he was on the contract for two years, music contract or whatever, and he would get like 97 percent of the money, but the uh, at the end of the day, TTE 90 would have the rights to, you know, the TTE KP in the image. People, look, trust nobody, man. This is my point. I had to break that down, but this is my point of this shit like this, all right? That's why I love me some Dolph, man. I love a man that think like that, bro. Like a young Dolph, man. Straight up. This shit right here, people. <laughs> he was just, you and y'all was just cool a week ago type shit. And now it's, what? That test is fake. And yeah, he probably, you know, he didn't say he dug up the grave. But who who is to say he hasn't said that? Yeah, he really dug up that grave. And yeah, his shit, he already said that the test was fake. So what else he wouldn't say? So, so TTE 90 was on Captain Keith, and he says, KP told him, I'm almost at my thousand subscribers, and then I'll put the, you know what I'm saying, take the videos down. Huh? Now, if that's true, man, boy, because he's like 700 and something subscribers. People, God damn. That's why I always say, it's always the ones close to you, man. It's always like that. How many times I'm going to have to say that today, though? That's crazy. I just thought about that. I just was saying that on the other videos I made today. It's always somebody close to your ass. 
It's always one in the crowd talking loud, right? That's why I always say, yeah, it's hard to believe. But young Dolph, it, Case and the way he died and all that shit is no different from anybody other rapper's death. It's always some one person. We don't know who that one person is, though, for real, for real. But it's always one person that's, that are, that's always around you. That's in on the shits. Come on, man. I ain't going for that shit. You hear me? You hear me? Shit, that's facts. I refuse to believe anything else. I know. You know what I'm saying? I believe that's to be true, allegedly. You know what I'm saying? Hell no. Uh-uh. Ain't nobody supposed to get off like that. Any other times they try to get off, somebody either got murked or he lived to see another day. This time wasn't nobody with the man. Nobody from his clique and shit. Come on, man. I ain't got time for this shit, all right? I don't fall for the banana pop for the banana in the tailpipe. Not too often. But back to Pop Austin. Ooh, that rhyme, didn't it? Not too often, but back to Pop Austin. TTE naughty. They turning on you, brother. They turning on you. <sighs> See, TTE naughty was gaining success too fast for certain people. I don't know who, but but he was. Now, whatever happened at that damn park. He might get in trouble. Well, anyway, people, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. Like Dolph say, trust nobody. Message. 